Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about my Morgan jeans, which I just finished this week and I'm super excited about because they look really nice. So, um, I made my Morgan jeans out of 10 ounce Robert Kaufman denim. Um, I found this denim at Fancy Tiger Crafts. I ordered online from them uh, and it came like couple weeks ago and I finally got the chance to actually make my jeans. Um, I'm really excited about these jeans because I have been wanting a pair of light wash, um, like more mom slash boyfriend style jeans. Um, so these were perfect. Um, this denim is like the exact color that I'm looking for and uh, I'm really excited to see them wear in nicely and everything. Um, so I actually used a zipper fly. The Morgan Jean actually typically, <laughs> or like the Morgan Jean actually has you install a button fly. Um, I really wasn't about that since, uh, <laughs> I don't know, it's a little bit less convenient, I guess. <laughs> and, um, I had already ordered the zipper fly and then I realized I was like, oh, I guess you're supposed to do a button fly. But, I mean, I would have preferred to do the zipper anyway. So yeah, that's the only alteration I made. Um, other than that, I pretty much sewn the, or sewed them as they were listed in the pattern. Um, I thought about lengthening the rise a little bit because I wanted them to be a little bit more high rise, a little bit more like mom jean, I guess. But <laughs> it turned out working pretty well. Um, I like the way they look. I think the rise is perfect for me. Um, it's a little bit higher rise than I would have expected, given that they said it's a medium rise. But I like the uh, I like I like the <laughs> the length of the rise. Um, yeah. So um, yeah, these sewed up pretty quickly. I was able to use my serger on them, which was awesome. They went by so much faster than my first pair of jeans. Um, that's probably partially attributed to the fact that I learned a lot. From actually making my first pair of jeans and then using my serger also helped with the uh, whole speed aspect. <laughs> so I used this like light beige top stitching for um, for all the top stitching uh, <laughs> and it's like I don't think it's actually supposed to be a denim top stitching thread. All the tops or all the denim top stitching thread that I saw at the place I went to um, was like a darker more like coppery or like gold color and I wanted it to be a little bit less of a contrast on the light denim. Uh, the other thing I is I used a like a really pale pink for the bar tacks on the back pockets and then I also used that for the buttonhole. I was expect or I wasn't I don't know. I was I just wanted like a little bit of a subtle contrast, but I think it pretty much looks like it's white <laughs> since it's such a pale pink. So um, I wish I had found like a lighter, or not lighter, but like a little bit more of a like medium tone pink rather than like a super pale pink. Like it's the same color as this shirt. It's like the top stitching I used for this this shirt. Um, so it doesn't really stand out that much from the. <laughs> from the blue and it pretty much looks white, but I mean, it's fine. It works. Um, the other thing is, let's see. So I, when I, the one mistake that I made whenever I was making these is I forgot to put the little, what's it called, the coin pocket in uh, before I, I put my pocket, or sewed my pockets onto the, the front of the jeans. So it's not lined up perfectly it's like a little bit off to the side because I didn't want to unpick everything. But uh, I mean, like other than that, I didn't really have any big oopsies with these. I think I learned a lot with making my first pair. Um, definitely I did a few, like I didn't do the top stitching up the back seam until I had sewn my whole entire like until I sewed them all together to make sure that it fit well because I I figured that I might want it to like to take in the back seam a little bit more so that <laughs> there's like room for I guess I don't know so that it's a little bit tighter around my waist 
uh, like in the center of my back. So yeah, um, I did that and then I top stitched it afterwards, which also guaranteed that the top stitching match up, matched up. So that was good. Um, yeah, I don't think my machine is like the best for sewing on denim. I'm definitely interested in getting a new sewing machine at some point, but given that I just bought a serger, I really don't want to do that like anytime super soon. Um, like it's kind of hard for me to get really close to the edge with top stitching, um, like around the, the waistband and such, but uh, you know, you use what you got. <laughs> and I still, I still think my sewing machine did a good job despite all that. Um, let's see, is there anything else? I mean, I used the, like, the silver uh, findings kit that was from Closet Case Patterns, and I also bought that using, uh, or bought that through um, Fancy Tiger Crafts. And yeah, I bought the pattern uh, whenever it was on sale, like, last month for No Fear New Jeans month, <laughs> or whatever. Um, I was considering hand stitching my buttonhole. Because I was feeling a little bit edgy or something. I don't know. I was feeling like maybe I could do a cool buttonhole if I hand stitch it. But I was worried that it might look a little wonky. So I was like, mm, let's play it safe. I still need to get like a buttonhole chisel so that I don't have to use my seam ripper for that. But I'm really careful about it. So it's never really a problem. Um, one trick that I use is I actually push my seam ripper in and then back up um, like a, whatever distance that is so that even if I like run it all the way through it only rips as much as I want so that's a top tip for you even though like you can't rip it all at once you have to kind of do it like a little bit at a time but that way like you're guaranteeing you're not making any big mistakes <laughs> So like, uh, if you don't have a buttonhole chisel like me, that's one way you can do it. Um, I didn't do any fancy top stitching on the pockets. I just wanted these to be like some basic mom jeans. Um, I actually did use a, or do like a, a muslin type thing. Um, I did, I didn't do like the full length uh, pants because I did not have enough of the fabric I was using for that. So I just did like some like knee length short type muslin thing and I did not finish it because I was very impatient. I was like, okay, these fit all right, I'll just continue. <laughs> um, one thing I'll say about this pattern is it is a little bit slimmer than I would have expected, which I'm not disappointed about, but if you were expecting more of like a, a baggier boyfriend jeans, these are not going to be that. They're like, they're like just like more of a slim fit boyfriend jean, more like a girlfriend jean. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm very happy with how these turned out. Um, and that's pretty much all I have to say about them. If you tried out the Morgan jeans, let me know what you thought. I really like these jeans. I am definitely going to be wearing them all the time. And it's perfect for springtime. I'm like super excited. It'll work so well with my springtime wardrobe. I don't think I'm going to do a capsule wardrobe though. Living on the edge. Living on the edge. Living like Larry. So yeah, I should stop talking because I think this video is really uh, all over the place. Because <laughs> I didn't write any notes for it, so... Apologies for that, but otherwise, thanks for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will talk to you later. Bye!